But I'll go and peep with you again with your next video. And as now, say thank you below when you don't know what the video is all about already. You see, before I go into the video, I'm going to subscribe to the channel and turn the post notification bell. I want to smash the like button. I want to comment and share. Please share the video. And also, subscribe to Stammer TV Vlogs. The link for your channel is in the description and it's a pin in the comment section. So subscribe and share to everybody who thinks so you are interested in watching the kind of video. Today. You see me? Alright. And to the video now, and subscribers. The up top bars took it to Instagram a couple hours ago, which is last night and he post a photo online but look like so yo him had been in the hospital but before he post the photo he actually got live you know now that leave many fans of the up top bass curious and i wonder what go on some people are so yo dj all right and all that because when i don't know if you see on the very dj in the hospital i'm gonna start worry and i wonder what go on and a dm the dj comment and all that squash do the same thing before in jack money fever so some people say yo i wonder if i same thing i'm gonna do so some people are worried i wonder if you're all right and also some people say yo i wonder if a music video might drop because when i don't know see yo when them artists they might drop a music video no ideas then it's something to build up the anticipation look for acting what they him come and say yo he meet the fruit and all that and then in just a music video and as in just the music video the music video start changing same time so the dance artists them start gravitating to doing these things when him post the photo online him said jaja but he never keep the photo online for too long you know he delete it but when i don't know a social media that and anything drop online people are going to at the same time and start sending it and start sharing it so anything you don't want up online don't upload it because somebody will always there watching and at a jappy them screenshot it or them don't know they have it i hope everything all right and all this is just a public system that they manage a music video and they don't sick you see me because i'm a big fan of tj and more than you see how tj sick this video may show now viewers subscribers a dancing rebel right now them say dancing rebel in a pain after she do a surgery on her butt right now in these the end time everybody do them body if they not do butt lifter they will do something with them breasts or something but me actually like rebel Rebel Dino, Rebel Dino, Audi. Me not gonna be one of them person who come online and bash people with them body. I feed them body and I feed them money. And a person do whatever make them comfortable. I'm not say anybody who have do them body, just don't Audi, just do it normal. Also, when subscribers, I'm gonna show you two videos. One with the Yanni Crevy Diva, she talk about the Miss Kitty situation, and also the part two of the Dark Power interview. So just stay tuned and watch them. There. And also comment and tell me what you think about Rebel doing her body, and also TJ being admit in the hospital if only believe see you it might be true and also smash the like button share the video and also subscribe to stammer tv vlogs you see me the link with channel and the description tap in the comment section so before and share the channel link show to everybody who only feels you who are interested to watch them kind of video day. ig is a story and i keep saying it instagram is a story and it's what you want to be told so my story, as I say, it is crazy. Sometimes it's your oh, Yanni Nana saying, Yanni just re re, Yanni club money man, Yanni boy boy. I don't want to here about myself. But Mark, you all don't money man part still. <coughs> no, it's actually not true. Nah. I just don't want a man love my money. But you know, really depend that with the money man. But yeah, people will paint a whole story. I mean, you see them, it's a whole different story. But yeah. What happened to Vibes Cartel? Who wants to know? It's important to be nice. It is. Lord, here you go, no, we kitty. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Half of the time, I think, when will sometime you do something in life and you wonder, or something happen to you? When will that story end? <laughs> After a while, I said to myself, oh my God. When will that story, when will they change narrative? When will they change it? You understand? Like, oh. Yeah, females against and bash each other on television. We're over that now. I think we're all me older, she older. We've moved past that. And if if that is the, the, the way people want to remember me or remember a situation, it's horrible. I did Magnum for nine, ten, about nine, ten years. Yeah, about ten years. Like, that's not what I want to be remembered for when you come on to Magnum Kings and Queens. It's, it's sad, but I really... I don't think she wants to be remembered for that either. So we've both grown from that, you know, business-wise, personality-wise. I sure I'm not the same person that answered her years ago, and she's not the same person that's even probably aggressive. So people just sometimes need to grow with us and grow with the people that you you watch and you see. Grow with them, you know. That's what I look on. They regard it as an influential person. You know, and a lot of young people look up to you. What are your plans for 
those young people, the youth, who continue to look up to you as a role model? Well, I'd only say that the youth that has already seen me as a role model, as a role model, and, um, you know, I would say that it's only goodness for the future and it's only positive moves that I'll be promoting. So, for the youths who are thinking positively and those who are not, we're still here to try and to guide or to point them to that direction. That's the influence I want to portray now on the youths of today. Yes, that's, that's how I want to do things going into the future. Speaking about positive influence, I notice you're in a good workshop, you know, any plans to venture into this era as a, biz as, as, as a business venture? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Yes, definitely. Yes. Um, we're just here now, wrapping up some work. Yeah, we have some talented trade workers here, and we're just here wrapping up some work. We think for some artists to come in. And it's a good step, it's a more, you know, yeah, it's a more progressive move going into the future. Yes, and we hope to benefit from this business. Yes, definitely. Well, Linton, I hear you mentioning about tying out, though, you know, I, I want to find out, though, how you, how you feel when you saw your son for the, for the first time? Well, when I saw all my kids for the first time, yeah. after I came home, that feeling can't even be described. You know, there's no description. There's no, there's no, you know, that feeling was too warm and overwhelming to describe. Yeah. To be described. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Growing up as a child in a city community, typical ghetto life, came across some, my family came across some good people, helpful people, and helped in schooling and all that with one focus and dedicated mother to, you know, to ensure that she did all she could to have us grow up the best way possible, to be well educated and to take on the future, to take on tomorrow's world. That was always her motto, you know. So, that was, that's just my typical growing up life in Negata. Yeah. yeah. Youths yeah. never give up. Like, Never give up. Try your best to stay focused and to keep your head above the water. Positive movements is always better than negativity. Positivity is always better than negativity. Good is always better than bad. So for the youths who have ever been caught up or who are caught up now, you still have a chance once there's life to change things. You know? So right there and then, more life to the youths and more goodness and upliftment for the ghetto and the city people. Can we take this what you're saying to, to, to mean that you know, you're now changing around your life? Mm, it, it, it's obvious. I've been here almost a month. Even though no one has heard from me, but I've been here. Things have changed. And I've definitely decided to change my life in every way possibly, you know? Meaning, I just can't wait to see the kids grow up more. I've missed out so much on, you know, the feeling as you asked earlier, as I told you, coming home to see them can never be replaced. So I'm just here trying to fill the gaps that I left out on with the youths and family, you know. Fair enough. Big up the elder himself, you know, that I bears. Yeah, man. Freedom is a must, general, you know? Yeah, man, as an elder, we motivate the youth um, for all our meditation and stay focused. I know, say, so, yeah, freedom is always a must for any man to come in, man to come out, as long as he maintains sanity, you know? So, big up to the elder there. Up to the freedom is a must, you know? All right. Also, Father God, Ninja Man, big up yourself. Freedom is a must. Modern, you know, it come down. Party ball. Blessings, freedoms are most remember that.